Ren, what got you into creating leather masterpieces, or into working with leather? That's a very interesting question. Basically, um, I was writing and performing music, and I was living in, in Hollywood at the time, in 1969. And I met, uh, I had a girlfriend, and her brother-in-law, Billy Bob Young was his name, and his wife was named Mona. And they were making garments. Uh, Mona was making a lot of Janis Joplin's garments, uh, all the tie-dyed stuff that she wore. And Billy Bob was making Jimi Hendrix and Roger Daltrey and, and the cast of hair and just a, a tremendous amount of uh, artist of the time, um, garments. Matter of fact, Billy Bob was featured in Time Magazine in 1969, or I believe it was, because he had come up with a tie-dye technique for leather, uh, which had never been done before, which he had done for Roger Daltrey. Uh, if you remember the shirt that he wore in, uh, in Woodstock, uh, Roger Daltrey's fringe shirt uh, with the Who, Billy Bob made that. And I started hanging around a lot, and uh, because I was so broke and wasn't making any money playing music, uh, I started hanging around a lot, and he one day just said, hey, you're gonna hang around a lot. Grab a, some lace and help me lace up these pants. And so I apprenticed with him for about a year, and, uh, and then uh, the, the opportunity came, the traveling cast of hair came to town, and. They wanted like 15 outfits, and Billy Bob says, I can't possibly get all that done. And, and he said, Ren, help me out. So I got involved, and uh, he, he taught me everything he could. And every stitch in his garments, there was no such thing as a machine stitch. There was nothing. Everything was hand-laced. Every piece was hand-laced. And I got involved with it and did uh, half of the cast, and uh, I actually found I had a talent for it. And uh, from there, I just went off on my own and started my own custom business and studio business at that point. That was the very beginnings of the, how I got started in the business. Where did you go from there, Ren? Uh, basically, I um, went from there and I moved back to San Francisco, where I am from originally. And I got involved with a uh, company called North Beach Leather, very, very famous uh, leather stores. They started in San Francisco, and I started designing with them. Bill Morgan, Frank Morgan, uh, Michael Hoban, uh, Gary Peterson, all the, the, the original guys, and uh, did hand-laced garments and uh, worked with them. 
And then I moved on from them to, I went to Dallas, Texas, um, and I opened up a small studio in Dallas, Texas, and was doing, just doing entertainment clothes, uh, uh, lots of things, uh, Tina Turner, Stevie Nicks, uh, the, the, you know, I don't have enough time to tell you all the people I've made things for. Um, but um, one thing developed into another, and all of a sudden I found myself in the wholesale business. Uh, I had a birthday party in my studio, and a model that I used at the time, a very lovely lady, uh, it turns out her husband was the catalog buyer for Neiman Marcus. And so when she came, they came to the, my birthday party, I showed them some, she said, show my husband some of your things. And I showed him some of my things. And at the very end of the story, he said, oh, incidentally, I'm the catalog buyer for Neiman Marcus. And I love your stuff and I want to see you in my office on Monday morning. And from that point, my life changed totally. Um, they put me in their 1984 Christmas catalog, and I had a double page. They highlighted me and featured me, and once that happened, every store in the United States of America, in Canada, in Europe, wanted Red and Ellis garments. And um, the, 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 really, the rest is history. I went from a small little three people studio to uh, 45 people in six months. And I uh, was selling 350 stores in the end of two years. And I've been in Saxeth Avenue, Bloomingdale's, uh, every major department store, every major catalog. And um, it just kind of developed from there. And I. I had a wonderful, long career doing wholesale. Uh, that's kind of the crux of how I went from doing that little bitty thing and going from doing custom stuff into going into major, uh, as being a major designer in leather. That's kind of how I developed into that. Mm -hmm.